Okay, everybody, we're taking the unit exam on environmental hazards. We've got mold, lead, asbestos, and we've already had a couple of um, videos on this. So um, the last video we did on this, and we're, we just did another video on it. So it must be pretty important if they could keep repeating this information. When lead is present, what rule covers remodeling? Okay, I'm going to say that one because honestly, I don't know. Which of the following lists items that contain asbestos if manufactured before 1970? What likely contains asbestos? Um, it's usually shingles, furnace insulation, siding. Um, I don't know about decorative material. I mean, I guess we could put that in there, too. We're going to take a chance and leave it at this. It was outlawed in what decade? It looks like the 70s. Let's go back. I think it is this one. Because they just said it right here. Um, the 70s seem to have a lot of problems with, with lead and asbestos. The residential lead requires sellers, landlords, agents to disclose any hazards in the home. The EPA has special requirements for contractors performing lead abatement or remodeling in target dwellings. These requirements relate to uh, I have no idea. I'm guessing this. All right, what is the name of the fibrous material found in rocks and soil that can cause lung disease and cancer? What must be provided to consumers? Anything built before 1978. The EPA pamphlet titled Protect Your Family from Lead. Aside from paint, what else can lead be found in? Ceiling tiles. In any given property, where, where would you most likely find the highest radon levels? Maybe the garage, because you got that cement. Usually it comes up through cracks or near um, cement. Um, could be chimneys. I don't know what this is. This is like fake answers. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, which agency applies the target des designation to a dwelling and set requirements for lead abatement and remodeling of these homes? I don't even know what all these things are here. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I know what the EPA is, so I'm going to check that one. Which of the following are true about public water supplies? Many chemicals are still found, not necessarily harmful ones, but what's the purpose of the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act? It sets guidelines for drinking water safety. Okay, so I failed again. And let's go and look at what I got wrong so we don't keep doing the same thing. It's lead renovation, repair, and painting. I don't know why we wouldn't want to remove it, but it's called lead renovation. Okay. And this one, good choice. This one, 1970s, were a mess on home building. This one is safety precaution and disclosure to occupants. Okay. This one is chronic lung disease. This one is water pipes where lead might be found. And this says the lowest level. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Now that I. Okay, it didn't make any sense, but now I get it. 
because radon comes from the soil, the lowest level of the house will contain. I mean, they should have put lowest level of house is what they should have put. Because lowest level doesn't make any sense. All right, EPA we got right, which is good because I have no clue what them other things are. All right, and that's it. Okay, so we're going to take this again. Oh, let's pray we take it, get past it this time. All right, what is asbestos and why is it an, an environmental issue? Chronic lung disease. Which of the following is a true statement about asbestos? It is harmful only if left in place. I'm saying it's not safe at any level, really. I'm going to put that. Okay, keeping the air, area dry and air circulating can remove, um, help prevent mold. Radon is found in well water and where else? Soil, I do believe. Or is it insulation? I think it's soil. Which of the following is a true statement about radon? It's a natural occurring gas, so it makes sense if it's in the soil. Asbestos is used for fighter retardant capability. It's insulating prod properties and what other quality? Um, invisible maybe? I don't know. Local health departments are responsible for testing which water sources, community and private wells. Oh, nothing. Neither community or private wells. Here we go with the health department. Health department doesn't do this. Our children and pregnant women are also vulnerable to poisoning caused by what hazard? Lead. Lead is highly toxic and may range in health problems, especially in young children. Which is the following true? Lead could cause learning disabilities, um, seizures, behavioral problems. What's true about protecting groundwater? I think I had this question before. Okay, which of the following statements is true about groundwater? Maybe this one. Which of the following is a true statement about radon testing? It should be performed by a professional, but they do have some available for a purchase. Okay, we passed, thank God. Let's see which ones we got wrong. Want to take any screenshots and you know if you feel like you need help in this area, you already took the test and you know this is a weakness for you. It was strong, okay, that's interesting. Asbestos was strong. It's a good insulator. It's a good fire retardant. All right, children and pregnant women are vulnerable to lead the most. Lead can cause behavioral problems, learning disabilities. What's true of protecting groundwater? Many regulations are in place, and it's a source of drinking water. Groundwater is a source of drinking water. Okay, so next we're doing assessments, disclosure, and cleanup. That's the next unit. Assessments, disclosure, and cleanup. I guess we're still on environmental stuff. I don't know. I don't know what cleanup means, but anyway, we are 85% of this course done. I shall see you on the next video if you're coming back.